Good morning. Welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. A little chuckle there because we've had quite the time getting the video to start this morning. It was having trouble connecting, so sorry for the delay. But uh, we also had a nice rush, and that rush is caused by the nice cool weather that has moved in. And that's what's prompting this week's topic. Is these, these cold fronts that we've had, a couple here in the last couple weeks, have really pushed down a lot of birds of prey, a lot of raptors into our area. And we've been getting calls and posts from people saying, wow, I drove from here to St. Joe and counted 27 hawks on the side of the road, and I've counted 50 hawks between here and here. Um, and it's something that we see every fall. Um, the birds of prey are pushed down when the weather starts to get harsh up north. Uh, they know what's coming up there, and that the harsh conditions make it harder for them to catch the prey that they need. And so they move down into the lower 48 states um, to uh, take advantage of food supplies. And it makes it uh, easy for us to see them. Uh, one of the most convenient places for them to, to hunt are along highways. Uh, the nice short grasses in the medians and on the edges of the road are perfect for them for visibility. Uh, so they can see the mice and the rats and the small mammals that are moving around there. And also it makes it easy for us to see them as we're traveling. They're up on the light poles and on power lines and on exposed limbs along the highway. And so uh, they're, they're easy and they catch our attention and our curiosity. Uh, it's also a very dangerous place for them, obviously, because whenever they focus in on a prey uh, that's in the median uh, or on the side of the road and they take off down for it, they're not focusing on... Uh, those vehicles that are coming down the highway, and a lot of them do uh, get killed by when it's struck by vehicles, and that's a sad thing. But uh, the the questions are, what are all of these hawks? And uh, we are going to thought we'd cover a little bit of that today. Uh, first and foremost, everybody thinks that uh, because hawks are big and they're easy to see, that they're easy to identify. That is a misbelief <laughs> because. Quite, uh, uh, hawks are very varied in their plumages. Uh, whenever you look in a field guide and you look at the hawks on their pages and you think, oh, okay, they all look like that. And that is rarely the case. Uh, hawks can vary uh, from very dark individuals to very light individuals and many cases in between. Immatures look different from adults. Uh, and, and even some uh, raptors take four years to reach their full uh, sexual maturity plumage. And so they can look very different over uh, the course of time. So uh, identifying hawks is not as easy uh, as a lot of people think. But with that, because uh, the majority of the birds, the large hawks that we see, are red tail hawks, uh, it, 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 it also makes it fairly easy. When I moved here from North Carolina back in the early 90s, I was all excited. I thought I was going to be able to see all these western hawks out here. And every time I was riding down the highway and saw a very dark hawk, I'd pull off, you know, and I'd look at it and I'd think it had something unusual, and it would be a red tail. Um, I'd see a very light hawk and I'd pull off the side of the road and wow, that's another red tail. Um, and so the majority of the birds of prey that you see, the large birds of prey that you see on the sides of the roads, especially here in the winter months, are red tail hawks. Now, this is a nice headshot. Uh, taken by uh, one of the customers here at the store, but there are also many variations in the plumages. Um, one thing that uh, it's fairly consistent, pretty consistent whenever you're, and you can see it at 65 miles an hour when you're going down the highway, uh, when you're seeing a, uh, the front shot of a, a red tail hawk is the belly band. Let's see if we can't find a picture here that will better depict that. This is a very faint, you can see how this is a very light red tail hawk, and he has just the beginnings of uh, a very remnant of a, a belly band there. Oh, let's go further. Oh. This red tail hawk is an immature because of the, the, the banding in the tail, but you can see that belly band here across uh, from the side view. Um, and they, that, it's a very different degree. Some of them have a very dark belly band. Some of them have a very light belly band. But for the most part, when you're looking at these birds and you're going down the highway, they can range from very rufousy on their chest uh, to almost pure white on their chest, but almost all of them have some degree of that belly band on there. Another neat uh, thing about them is when you see them from behind, when they're, they're facing away from you and you're getting a view of their back, they tend to have these white feather uh, tips on their feathers on the back that are almost in, uh, in a V shape on their back. So you can actually see a lighter colored V on the back of those red tail hawks as you're riding down the highway. 
And so the, for the most part, these, these larger raptors that you're seeing on the poles and everything are red-tailed hawks. There are a few exceptions. We do get, uh, especially in, in the harsher parts of winter, we do get rough-legged hawks in some years, which instead of having that little belly band, they have a very dark lower uh, abdomen, all the way across the belly, all the way, all the way down. It's very, almost black across there is what you usually see. And their tails are a very two-tone colored tail. And they're every bit the, as big as a red-tailed hawk, and some of them are actually even a little bit larger than red-tailed hawks. So uh, they're the most common ones. Now, and the smaller hawks. Let's see if we can, oh, there he is right there. The smaller and the smallest of the hawks that we see in the medians uh, and on roadside signs and all are the American kestrels. American kestrels are not about the size of a blue jay. They're not very large at all. Um, and they have a couple of things that are pretty habitual about them, which is really neat. And that is when you see them land on a sign, they almost always bob their tail two or three times when they uh, pump it up and down whenever they land on what they're going to perch on for a minute. And that's a very characteristic trait that they have. Um, they also have these sideburns that you can see uh, in the picture up here. They have the, the nice markings on the face, and if, you're, if you can actually see them, that's very cool. And then another thing they do very habitually is, let's go here so I can get a better view of them. Is they tend to hover. They hover in the median, and you'll see this little bird over the highway in the median or out on the edge of the road, and you'll see them hovering there. It's very cool. We, one of the fun facts about them is we know they can actually see mouse urine. Um, their eyesight and their, their, their spectrum, uh, view spectrum they have in their eyes, they can actually see urine trails in the ground. Um, and they'll sit there and hover over an area waiting for that mouse to make a move and then swoop down on him and get him. Um, in the summer, they eat a lot of insects. Uh, mainly insects, and in the winter months they eat small birds, and, but all, but mainly mammals, small mammals. So uh, for the most part, small birds that you see along the highways, on the highway signs, are, are going to be kestrels, or sparrow hawks they used to be called, the smallest member of the falcon family, and the larger hawks are going to be red tail hawks, pretty much primarily. Um, we don't see these two birds don't hunt your backyards very often. Occasionally a red tail may uh, uh, go after squirrels in your backyard or, or, or perch up every once in a while. But the, the birds that hunt your bird feeders, those are called the occipiters. And we're going to do another session on those a little bit later. But those are the true hawks and the bird eating hawks. And they're the ones who come zipping through your yard, catch a bird, and then fly off with it. So we'll do another session on them. So if you like the videos, please share them with friends and family. And it helps us out. Uh, as always, send us uh, topics that you, you want to see covered. Next week, we're going to cover uh, what's the difference between uh, quality bird seed and less desirable bird seed. So that's our topic for next week. So join us then. Until then, come by. Let's talk birds.